Hello and welcome to EC Electronics. Today's topic for discussion is DFT properties. We are going to discuss that an important DFT properties in this video. And the first property we are going to discuss is circular frequency shift property. So according to the DFT property, circular frequency shift, according to the circular frequency shift property, if X of n is a sequence and let the DFT of X of n equal to X of k, then the DFT of X of n into e raised to j 2 pi L n by capital N equal to X of k minus L. So we are taking a sequence X of n and the DFT of which is considered as X of k and if we are going to multiply the term e raised to j 2 pi L n by capital N into x of n and take this, take the DFT of this term, then we will get x of k minus l. So this term is similar to the uh, term or exponential term present in the DFT equation. So only difference is that in place of k, we have put l. So here in the DFT term, this l will come like this, k minus l, that is x of k minus l. And again, if you are considering the DFT property called periodicity and going to apply that property in this term, then we can write x of k minus l as x of k minus l plus n. So in the final term, we have applied the periodicity property. So this is how circular frequency shift property is explained. The next important property which we are going to discuss in this class is circular shift of sequence. Again, we are going to take x of n is a sequence and if the DFT of x of n is again x of k, then the DFT of x of n minus m. Here, x of n is the original sequence and x of n minus m is the shifted version of x of n by m points. And this angle bracket and capital N denotes the periodicity property. So we have already discussed the periodicity property. In the periodicity property, we know if x of n is an input sequence and if it is periodic with capital N, then we can write x of n as x of n plus capital N. That is the ordinal sequence will be repeated periodically. So here x of n minus m is the shifted version of your original sequence then we can write its dft as e raised to minus j 2 pi k m by capital n into x of k again this term is the uh, exponential term which is present in your dft equation only difference is that in place of n you have put m because there is an m term in your input, which is the number of points with which you are going to shift your original sequence. And in the resultant DFT term, there is an exponential term with a m into your original DFT. So this is how the circular shift of sequence property is explained. Next property we are going to discuss is the circular convolution property, which is a very, very important property. There are a lot of problems being asked in the university questions based on this property. So we'll see what is circular convolution property. So according to the circular convolution property, the DFT of x1 of n circular convolution x2 of n equal to x1 of k into x2 of k. So we are taking two sequences x1 of n and x2 of n. And we are going to take the circular convolution of the two. And then the DFT of this circular convolution is the product of their individual DFTs. So x1 of k is the DFT of x1 of n and x2 of k is the DFT of x2 of n. Then the circular convolution of x1 of n and x2 of n will be equal to the product of their individual DFTs. That is the circular convolution property. Next property which we are going to discuss is the multiplication of sequences property. So this property is also very much important and it is also uh, been frequently asked in university questions and you can use this property to uh, find the DFT or solve a problem in an easy method. 
So let's see what is the multiplication of sequences property explains. Here, the multiplication of sequences explain that the DFT of you are going to multiply two sequences that is x1 of n and x2 of n is multiplied. Then what will be its resultant DFT? The equation of the property states the resultant DFT will be equal to 1 by n into x1 of k circular convolution x2 of k. So this is the property. So if you are going to multiply the two sequence and take the DFT, the resultant DFT, then it will be equal to 1 by n into the circular convolution of their individual DFTs. So x1 of n and x2 of n are the two terms. x1 of k is the DFT of x1 of n and x2 of k is the DFT of x2 of n. Then the product of this and the final DFT will be equal to 1 by n into x1 of k circular convolution x2 of k. So this property and the circular convolution property is very much related. So if you relate the uh, two properties, you can study it very easily. You don't need to buy heart. So uh, these two properties are very much important. So that is the multiplication of sequence property. The last property which we are going to discuss in this class is Parseval's theorem. This is also a very much important property. It's been asked to prove the theorem and also uh, it's been asked to uh, solve a lot of problems using this theorem. So, uh, let's see what is Parseval's theorem. According to the Parseval's theorem, sigma n equal to 0 to capital N minus 1, x of n into g star of n equal to 1 by n sigma k equal to 0 to capital N minus 1, x1 of k or x of k, you are using x of n, so x of k into g star of k. So, x of n and g of n are the two sequences. You are going to use x of n and you are going to take the conjugate of second term that is g of n and the conjugate is g star of n and sigma n equal to 0 to n minus 1. The product of these terms equal to 1 by n sigma k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k into g star of So these are the properties of DFT which we are discussing in this class and uh, next class we'll be discussing the problems of these DFT properties because the problems are very much important. It's been asked in the uh, university questions and also in gate exams. So we'll be discussing that in the next class. So thanks for watching the video. Please don't forget to like and also share it with your friends and also do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.